Hello, Liberty. I am here with another 2020 Senior Spotlight, and today I am with Cassidy DeGroat. Cassidy, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Very good, thanks. Um, so how's it going being stuck at home right now? At first, I didn't think it was going to be this long, but now it's like I'm starting to go a little bit crazy. <laughs> Same, <laughs> same in all aspects. Um, how about the online learning in all of your classes? Um, the online learning is not bad. It We use it in school, so it's like the same thing. But I kind of miss being in my classes. Yeah, the interaction with people is definitely the part that I think all of us are starting to miss a lot. Right. You know, besides the people we see in our houses over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so why don't you tell us a bit about yourself, you know, what you were involved in at school and what you like to do? I'm mostly just involved in sports. So I play soccer and I play all year round, actually. Um, I would be playing during the spring, but here we are. But um, I played basketball from eighth grade through 12th grade. And I was going to join track this year, but can't clearly. Yeah, losing, you know, losing the soccer part is extremely hard for you, I'm sure. Um, but track would have been a cool experience for you. Um, were you planning on doing any events in particular? Um, I just wanted to try jumping, like long jump, high jump, things like that. Yeah. Uh, it's funny. The other day I was talking to Coach Q and she told me about a time that you were headed out to gym out on the track and she was out there um, and she said that you wanted to try the high jump. Mm -hmm. So you did. And obviously she had it set for middle school kids. So that was like cake for you. But then she said she put it at what was currently like this, uh, the state qual height. And you just jumped it with no problem. Um, Stay calm, but <laughs> yeah, she said it was at a ridiculous, like a height that most kids that are just jumping but not really competitive wouldn't have been able to do. So I thought that was impressive. Um, yeah. Not surprising though. Yeah, she was the one who actually got me like really into it. So Thanks. yeah, well, Coach Q, she's yeah. all about any sport that there is to play. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, so as far as high school goes and all of your classes, what do you think your favorite class you ever took was? Um, I love geometry. I really did. Oh, my God. It must have been your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There was just something about the class. I just really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. That was a fun. It, it was a fun group of people, first of all, yeah. in your geometry class. If I remember correctly, it was an interesting group. Yes. Um, but yeah, you were pretty good in geometry. You did well. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, so now you got to think because there's a lot of different things, I'm sure, that come to mind when you think about all of high school. But what is one of your favorite memories, something that you'll never forget from high school? Well, it was actually our basketball season. Like, our season was a great season this year. Like, the team just felt like a family, and we were all just really close, and I enjoyed this season a lot. Yeah, I um, I don't know. I don't know that I've ever, between the two different places I've coached, coached a team that was so um, connected and like you girls were this season and it made it a real pleasure um you know I don't like losing ever as you know very well <laughs> but um even though we didn't make sectionals we were really close uh but most importantly we just felt like we were one group all of us together right yeah it's always nice when that happens and it doesn't always happen a lot on teams you know um really there's a lot of division sometimes, which is usually what ruins a team, but you girls really had something different. 
Yeah. Very, very good. Um, so tell us a bit about what your plans are after high school. Like I know you haven't committed to a certain school yet, but what are you trying to figure out as far as after high school? So the plan is I'm trying to go to Manhattan College and study there. Um, hopefully major in exercise science for physical therapy and hopefully that goes well but that's just the plan for right now like right and are you trying to continue with soccer because as much as you love the basketball season basketball is not your primary sport i know soccer is your passion um i'm hoping to continue my career in soccer um Everything might not go as planned, but I mean, I'll still play like in clubs and stuff. So, but I was honestly thinking about trying for a basketball team as well, because why not? <laughs> I love that. Listen, anyone who is uh, as athletic as you are and as coachable as you are could play um, pretty much any sport that you wanted. And you've learned so much in the last two years with basketball. I am confident that you could go and play somewhere for sure. So whatever you need uh, help doing, you let me know, because I would love to see you play either sport in college. I'll be there for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and finally, do you have a message that you'd like to send to the Liberty community? You know, your teachers, um, your friends, your family, whoever. Is there anything you'd like to say? Well, I just want to say thank you to all of my teachers and coaches for being there for me and teaching me everything I know because they have developed me into the person I am. And I'm going to really miss the school a lot. So. Yeah, we're going to miss you a lot. Um, you are a special kid, Cass. I hope you realize that. Okay. So you will be missed. You will be missed. I will miss you greatly. Thank you. <laughs> but I know you and I are going to be connected forever, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but thank you very much for being on here with me and doing this. Um, and, you know... I, Summer just ran in the room and completely distracted me. Um, I think she wanted me to say that she's going to be connected to you also. I think that's what she said. Um, but thank you for doing this with me, and hopefully you and I will talk soon. Of course. All right. Um, and everybody else, I will be back with another 2020 Senior Spotlight very soon.